sometimes I do that. I'll yeah. just pretend that I'm going off with the rest. But I'll just make one big round and come back and pick him up. We've even got membership at the bird park. Whoa. Yeah. Regular hey. customers. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, like the people know us. The birds know us. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Welcome moms to the Connected Moms Club, Mommy Talk. I'm Belinda Chi, your host. Now here at Mommy Talk, we're a talk show that discuss everything affecting Malaysian mommies. And for today's episode, we're going to be talking about parenting styles and also the importance of creative play in your children's overall development. And joining me today, we have Chiok, Sharifa, Chui Ling and also Manisha who have different ways of raising their children and have different perception of child development. Welcome again, ladies, on Mommy Talk. Hi. Now, today on the show, we're going to talk about parenting styles. Okay, I'm sure most of you bring your children out, you know, to the shopping malls or to, to other people's house, uh, visiting mm. during Chinese yeah. New Year. Um, what would your reaction be if, say, your child were to throw the biggest tantrum and start screaming their lungs out? when they're out in public? For starters, I mean, he hasn't really had that sort of temper tantrum yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but he did cry once when we go to a stranger's, I mean, my friend's house, mm -hmm. but to him, it's a stranger. Mm -hmm. But after a while, I mean, we put him aside like a timeout, you know, not going with the whole bunch of people first. Mm -hmm. So we put him out, timeout, you know, settle him. And then when, once he's okay, then in, reintroduce him to people one by one, then he's okay. okay. In public even, I do give them their timeouts, which is um, to sit on the stairs for two minutes mm -hmm. until they've calmed down, think about what they've done. And then after that, we discuss what have you done wrong? Why are you on the stairs? You know, we need, they need to realize that every action that they do has a reaction. So they need to understand that when you act a certain way, especially in public, I'm going to react to it. So you reprimand them there and then, even yeah. with... Uh, yeah. a whole bunch of people looking yeah. at it could, you. It could, it could be right next to KFC and it's like, sit in that corner! Oh. <laughs> you know? Okay. I had it once in a restaurant, mm -hmm. the smaller one. I didn't know why. He mm -hmm. kept crying non-stop. And everybody was looking at us and was like, you know, <laughs> Of course, I, I started to think of myself, oh, how do people look at me? Like, oh, this mother cannot even take care of uh, her own boy. So I, what I did was uh, I bring, I brought him out of the restaurant, and uh, because I didn't want to create a scene, and I let him calm down a bit, you know, because you know, small boys they like to see fast moving things, right? Uh, cars moving around and all that. And uh, after that, we got home. I discussed with my husband. There are two ways you can go about. One is to avoid taking them out, but I do it the other way. I want them to get used to our activities, so I should bring them out more. So this is what we've been doing now. I'm quite strict. I'm quite old school. So I say, if you if you do this next time, I'm not going to take you. You know, you're going to be at home alone. Yeah. And then you know, I know it's threatening and all that, but <laughs> it works. But yeah, you it know. Works. And then later in the car when we're going back, I'll just tell them that you know you cannot do that. You know, it's, that's not right. If you want something, you ask for it nicely. Um, like Ariana, for instance, when she's like, oh, can I get this one? And I go, no, baby, you can't have it. She's like, how about on my birthday? Okay, maybe we can get it on yeah, your birthday. Yeah, and then she's okay, and she puts it wow. back. Yeah, yeah so, I do that as well. I yeah, say for yeah. your birthday, or if you do well for your, you know, um, exactly. yeah, yeah. Fact, it rewards. Yeah, reward. And sometimes even, even without me saying it, my daughter would say, "Mama, if I do get this, can I?" Mm. I say, "Okay, I'll think about it." You know, inshallah, inshallah, we'll try. And when, so yeah, well, it's not a yes, huh? Yeah, no, no, no. You, you don't always say yes. yes yeah, but like, let's say when you when you voice out a threat, say next, if you do this again, next time you're not coming out with us, mm -hmm. and the next time he really does do something, a bad behaviour, do you follow through with your threat? Sometimes. 
I do. I mean, um, because I have the meat at home, right? Okay. Uh, so, I'll tell him, say, remember what you did? If you do this, I'm gonna, you know? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I do that. I'll yeah. just pretend that I'm going off with the rest. But I'll just make one big round and come I back. I mean, of course, back then, our parents did spank. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. And, and yeah. reprimand us in a, like, like lock us in the toilet. I, lock, I was locked in the toilet several times. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but do you think, as a as a mother yourself, do you think you'd do that to your child? I probably won't do that. I mean, the belting or locking in yeah. the toilets and all. But I think the the main point here is communication. When they can understand you, you you try to reason with them. You give them the big picture, and then you say, okay, if you do this, fine. There's a pros and cons. What what will be the you know uh, end result if you do it? And if they're astute enough, they will choose the right path, I, I believe. I did once uh, raise my hand at my eldest, and after that happened, I just sat with her, I held her so tight, and I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, mommy didn't mean it. You know, sometimes things happen, you know, I, oh, that guilt <laughs> that's on your shoulders. Honestly, I don't know, and I don't know what to expect. What I plan to do is, uh, I think I need to discuss with all the family members. Uh, who they spend time with a lot, like my husband, my mother-in-law, and the nannies. Because just imagine if I spank one of them, I set the example not only for the kids, but for the people around me. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I want us to work as a team. Hopefully, we can come up with something better than spanking yeah. uh, to train that discipline. Yeah, that one I am. Um, I'm still <laughs> figuring out what to do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they say that in every household there has to be a good cop and then a bad cop. Yeah. So, do you think you are more the good cop or the bad cop, Jo? Oh, I think I'll be the bad cop. Bad cop. Yeah. Most Those mothers are. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. So obviously, uh, yeah. bad. So whenever I come back home from work, my son will be like, ah. When the father comes back, ah, ha, 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 you know, that's all. <laughs> Different reaction. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I get, I so, can you please ha, ha, ha to me as well? <laughs> How about you, Chilling? Are you the good cop or the bad cop? Obviously, the bad one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A few reasons. Uh, first, I think my husband doesn't really know what's going on. Uh, for example, there was one night, um, uh, one of the boys wasn't sleeping. So the nannies were rocking them in the living room. Then the, the, the boy was like, mm, okay, I don't want to sleep with his eyes all open wide. And then he came in and asked me, hey, how come the boy doesn't want to sleep? The nanny forced, the nanny is forcing him to sleep. I said, so what do you expect him to do? Mm -hmm. Playing in the middle of the night? Mm -hmm. It's something called discipline because you cannot interrupt their cycles. If one night they cannot sleep, sleep the next morning they will get cranky and all that. How about you, Manisha? Well, bad cop as well. Um, I Most think, moms are, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. I have we to have no choice. We yeah. have to discipline our husbands also. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh my god, that's, 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 that's the, the toughest part. Really? Disciplining having, your yeah, husband? Having that agreement. Yeah. You know, like sometimes you see, you know, when he's actually out um, and he's um, out late and he's not back home yet, I can get the kids to, you know, go to bed on time, everybody cleans up after, uh, after eating, pack your bags. When I'm late and I, have, I come back home, and I was like, Oh my god! Yeah. I, have, I see one of around. them watching TV, the other one doing something under the table, and my daughter uh, not uh, showered. Yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, thank God showered. But one, uh, my youngest would be scribbling on the wall. I'll be like, oh. okay, this has got, and it's about almost ten o'clock. You know, oh. it's already late for me. So, and I saw him sleeping. I was like, <laughs> do you emphasize academic excellence in your children more than their? sort of overall holistic well-being? Okay, I look at it this way. Basic academic part is for their um, basic competitiveness when they grow up. Mm. And we need to explore their um, uh, uh, strengths and weaknesses to make them to have certain skills because you need Okay, you have to be competitive and then you have the skill to stand out from the rest. And then you need to be a good person. That's the value part, you know, yeah. the, the value comes Morals, in. Yeah, yeah. And you need to studies, have this yeah. integrity. So three different things that I would like to introduce to my kids, yeah. ideally. Yeah. yeah. So that that's a, a more complete education. Okay, now that we have like academic um, out of the way, we have morals and values out of the way, what about fun? We oh, we do a lot of things. <laughs> I mean, my, my kids, their, their school was called the Institute of Play. Really? So, yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, for me, it's all play-based. It has to be play-based because that's the easiest way children get to learn. Mm. Uh, they don't learn when you just put a book in front of them <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> they need to enjoy themselves. That's the only way because they're kids. 
So, um, I mean, we do all sorts of stuff. We go to the bird park a lot. We've even got membership at the bird park. Oh, you know? yeah. regular hey. customers. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, like the people know us, the birds know us. Really. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Hello, Ayana. I am here. You learn your name already, right? I mean, even at home, we had like you know because I teach what I do. We have our imaginary speech, and my kids will be like, "Come on, mommy, let's go build a sandcastle," and we'll go behind the couch and we'll take you know just pretend to build. They'll take clothes from the cupboards and like build sandcastle oh. with the clothes. But you know what? The mess is also creative play, mm. yeah. you know, but they need to learn to play back. Mm. Alright ladies, it's time to grab your boards and your marker pens again because we have a final question for you. Now, write down the advice that you would give to your past self, your pre-mum self. Alright, are we all ready? Yes. yes. One, two, three, show your boards. Okay, Chia is love them lots but don't spoil them. Yeah. <laughs> but do you think you are spoiling your son right now? Um, I hope not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and for Sharifa, there's no such thing as perfection. Everything is going to be great. That's yeah. great yeah, advice, I think. I think. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you. you can't expect a child, a human child, to come up perfect. Yeah. yeah. You want perfection? Go get a robot or something. Yeah. <laughs> a robot <laughs> dog. <laughs> okay. And we're chilling is hang out with more mothers. mothers. It's the fastest way yeah. to learn. Yeah, Pick up yeah. tips from them. True, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Good tips and bad tips. Wow, I see you doing this. It's not gonna work, okay? I, I won't do this. Yeah, it's yeah, my yeah, kids. Yeah. yeah. It's very good. Yeah. yeah. And having discussions like, like this, this. Yeah. an yeah. open discussion about what we do, maybe we do right or what we do wrong. And uh, with Manisha, is go with the flow, do what is best for you, your children, and, and your, your family. family. I mean, yeah. there's always a lot of books out there, mm -hmm. but I tell you, I, I read, you know, thinking that I'm going to be that perfect, perfect mother. mom. Yeah. You know, but I, I think at the end of the day, um, when you're in it, you'll be fine. Well, thank you very much, ladies, for your advice and also your uh, to share your experiences with all of us here today. That's all the time we have for today's episode. And thank you to all the moms out there for joining us this episode. For more on your child's development, please click on the link. And also, feel free to explore Connected Moms Club for more mommy support.